Hello folks, time for another video in the shave and with the loud air conditioning just came on as soon as I came into the bathroom. All right, folks. Well, rolling into the weekend, it was supposed to rain today, but the sun is out. So I'm you know, what? my wife went outside to the garden and said, I'm going to hop in for a quick shave. And I was kind of in a citrusy, but tobacco-y kind of mood today. So I said, you know what? My buddy Josh sent me a soap a while back that totally fits the bill. Good old gentleman's nod, Ernest. And if you can see right there, it says green mango, citrus, and tobacco. Exactly what I was thinking. And I'm not sure what base this is because I know they have a different bases. And I always have older soaps usually, so... I will throw up the ingredients from the container. Hopefully you can read that right there. Ernest, great scent. And I also have the splash, which I picked up after I got the soap. Good stuff. Yes, so we're going with the fine marble razor i call it the shuttlecraft because it reminds me of the star trek shuttlecraft right there <laughs> but anyway the fine marble razor also thanks to my buddy josh this is pretty much a josh shave today and i have that lovely soap lathered up already in the wild west Brushworks, Dolce, love this little brush for this bowl that I'm using in, the Captain's Choice Sandstorm Bowl, which my buddy Wes sent me, so this is a Wes Josh shave, thank you boys, or gentlemen I should say, because they are not boys, that's for sure, mm, that's a great scent, lovely scent. Yeah, so my wife went outside to putter around in her garden. We were kind of hoping it was going to rain today because then we don't have to break out the hose. All right, the air conditioning has stopped. Gentleman's nod, Ernest. Mm. I love this scent because it has citrus and tobacco. So it puts you in that both nice citrusy and a nice hearty tobacco. Not heavy on the tobacco, but a nice hearty tobacco. The birds are out there chirping like crazy. Essentially, since my wife has multiple bird feeders outside, the neighbors hate us because... The birds then poop all over everybody's cars, but my wife loves the birdies, especially when she's out in the garden. All righty. Fine Marvel Razor, a.k.a. the Star Trek Shuttlecraft. Oh, and there's a Chroma Diamant in there today. Almost forgot about the blade. Chroma Diamant. In the fine marble razor. I could really hear those birds today on a Friday. And it's kind of like mid afternoon. I'll get this up before it gets too late today. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. I really like this razor because it's on that mild slash efficient scale, meaning that even though it is mild. Mm. 
it's still very efficient as far as how it goes after those whiskers. I had a subscriber ask me to explain or do a video on basically how I shave with a DE razor. Basically, it's pretty simple. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but I found after all these years, the lighter the touch, the better the shave. And as soon as you find your angle, meaning about 30, 30, 30 degrees for me, you'll be a happy camper. And just let the razor do the work. I mean, I do push a little bit sometimes. But that's after I get comfortable with the razor. With whatever razor I am using. I know that's kind of a lame explanation, but once you start to DE or single edge razor shave and get away from the five or six blade or four blade or how many blades are offered today, it just becomes very intuitive as far as your angle and your how much pressure to put. I know it's kind of a cop out, but <laughs> that's what I found. I mean, I went through months when I first started back in like 2006, messing around and trying different razors and blades and whatnot. And finally you find your sweet spot. So you don't need, like our, us YouTubers, we have like a gazillion razors and soaps and brushes. and You technically don't need that. I just have it because I like the hobby and it gives me something to do now. And your first couple of shaves might be a little rough because your skin's just getting used to the blade. And of course, when you first start out, you may apply a little bit too much pressure because you're used to like the cartridges. That's what I found out that I did. And here comes the air conditioning again. Sorry about that. I know it's loud because the air conditioning duct for this bathroom is right by my feet here. So it's kind of shooting up right in front of the camera. Oh, that's good. I'm really liking the scent of the soap. I'm glad my buddy Josh sent me the soap because I really like this scent. I like tobacco scents and I do like, of course, citrusy scents and this is the best of both worlds. Oh yeah. Got lather going everywhere today. Just have to hit the little jawline area, which I always have to hit. Cause that's where the hairs grow all weird on me. Oh yeah. All right, Glenn, stop it. Stop it before you shave off while you're skiing. Alrighty, before I empty good old segment, I want to just a little dry off my counter so I don't do it with my Lancaster towel like I usually been doing, breaking the law, breaking the law. My nice pink towel that I stole. I stole from one of the girls in the house. <laughs> Alrighty, 
Let's empty good old Sigma in the sink. The sea monster sink. Kind of wash down the sink there. All righty. Ooh, what is that so cold today? I guess because it's getting warmer. The tap water isn't as cold. Lancaster towel. Boom. Or as I call it, the Lancaster water magnet. I have no clue when this towel is going to drop again for sale. I never have a clue because I am not sponsored by Lancaster or anybody, so... I have no idea. Sorry, folks. It's a great towel. But for some reason, it takes forever for them to put them up for sale. And usually when they're up for sale, they're gone in like minutes. All right. That was nice. All right. Before I put on the post, that was Gentleman's Nod. Ernest. I know the newer version of this has Ernest on the label here. And that was Wild West Brushworks. The Wild West Brush Brushworks Dolce. Nice. And that was in the Captain's Choice Sandstorm Bowl. Perfect match. I like the color of the brush and the bowl. They match perfect. And I don't think this bowl is available anymore. But you can get a Captain's Choice Bowl. That's similar. And you'll see right there, it's a little slippery. Captain's Choice, right there. I almost dropped that. And that was the fine marble razor, which I call the shuttlecraft. Just because of the way the safety bars look on this razor, great stuff. All right, and there was a chromodium on blade in there today, folks. All righty. Oh, that feels good. I'm just going to grab a swig of water. I have the uh, aqua pond in here with some ice. No vodka. All right, let's get this post, which is the gentleman's nod earnest after shaves. Blah. Nice. This is going to feel good. Oh, yeah. I like a little red mark there. Mmm. This is such a great scent. The splash has a little more of the tobacco in it. It's still nice and citrusy, but it has a little more of that tobacco up front there. Mmm. Oh, yeah, do that again. That's good. That's some good stuff. All righty. I think the ingredients are on this. If it's not the ingredients, to me, it's just one big blur, but there you go. So that's Ernest. Gentlemen's Nod. Awesome stuff. All right, folks. So if you enjoyed, enjoyed today's Ernest Shave, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Please subscribe. Also, let me stop getting subscribers. I don't get it. Need to get them up there so we can have a good giveaway. Anyway, stay safe out there. Please subscribe. And until next shave, Glenn signing off. <laughs>